Welcome back to more Gavin Garnerman Gaming, y'all. Playing some more Days Gone. Oh. <laughs> well, let's get into it. Look, well, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, in the infirmary. Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. From the look on your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you. We want to stay away from. Yeah, oh, crap. got it. It. All right, never mind. So how did you end up out here? Sorry, I never asked cousin. you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was a hundred miles. Where are you from? Grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. The big city. <laughs> yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Well, that Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I uh I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. Just I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it uh I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addie? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. It's Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You never thank me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where did you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Go. Uh, Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's going to track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I, Jesus? He just wanted out of marsh duty. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky. Nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just, no. No. Nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. Alright, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. Well, looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. Alright, come on. I want to check the outflow. 
Where are you going? Down here. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? What? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? What? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up would keep the hordes from coming in. Mm. Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Hmm. All right, come on, I want to check something out. Come on, let me shoot him. <laughs> Come here, touch this. Come on. You feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the penstock. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad? Brothers? No. Come on, over here. Alright, let's figure this out. Hmm. Well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait. Oh, oh. Wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Okay. Oh, it's now or never. Let's go. Yeah, it's it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it though. Run back down to the turbine. J j see if it's vibrating at all. Still right there. Ha ha ha. You feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over, I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere that... Oh. 
so I'll play with them. Evacuation orders. We get done with them. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long uh, time ago. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Oi, she sees me again. But these are the ones feeding the lines going south. Uh, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? All right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? He's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use a scalpel. Here, boost me up. <sighs> Okay. okay, got it. There. Here, I got the gate. Come on, junction room's right around. Didn't even unlock anything. Oh no. Oh God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. From the smell of it, more than a couple. Stay close. How many Molotovs you got with you? Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. It's been a while, but I remember. Huh, she's wanting to go in here. Time to burn. Here I come. Ready. Burn it down. Ready? Oh, You good? Yeah. They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Power to the people. <laughs> All right. Let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. OK. Damn. <laughs> yes. Houston, we have power. Nice work. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door and I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deep. Come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. He just, uh... You never mentioned him before, so, um, you know, I'm sorry if I, if it's uh, something you didn't want to talk about. No, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you, back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky, Ricky, 
Not now. You can ask me later. Uh, no, hey. Hey. Come on, we gotta get moving. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> do you come on? Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and... Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> you thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, D. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here, We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward, okay? Not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Are you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back. We're from Lost Lake Camp. Iron Mike has Bring a treaty. Hey. Well, that was a really good idea. Can I try that again? Yes. Stay put. Keep your head down. Take care. Yeah? I'll get you to camp. I can't. So, shit. You assholes are kind of far from home, aren't you? Damn it! What are you doing? No, no, no. Far north, aren't you? Huh? You don't want to get too far away from Carlos, do you?
I think it's the last of them. What the hell are they amped up on? No idea. Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other issue is. Oh, uh, bath salts. Remember? It was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick. Lisa? What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the rippers before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I... I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on. Let's go. Okay, we have to follow the line south. Check the transformers. Make sure they're all good. Okay, I'm following you. I stop you? How'd you end up in the MC? It's a long story. We got a long ride. Okay, I, I was a member of the 10th Mountain, part of a forward unit working with the Northern Alliance. Shit, I didn't know you were in the army. Why were you? You want to hear this or not? Sorry. We were advancing on Mazari Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way. And they were in flatbed trucks, decked out with ZU-23s, modified anti-aircraft guns. Big guns? Yeah, really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff, right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear, and when I came to, the, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I, uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And by the, by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. And when I came home, I don't know, I, uh, I bought a bike, spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and, um... So farewell, you grew up around here, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, so... By the time I finally settled down, I got a job in a bike shop run by this by this old guy named Jack. And uh, he ran the club. The, uh, well, the press, that's what we used to call him. And he patched me in himself. Wait, Jack, I remember who you talking about. He was in prison or something. Some bad shit went down and, and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need and 
We'll finish it up then. There will be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? Okay. But I want to show you something first. Oh, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, okay. Let's go. Can I ask you something? God, like I said before, could I stop you? Why are you still flying colors? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore. We're, we're staking out territory. Now? A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, the cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear them because we wear them. What do you want? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just... Cut. That's who I am. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well... Just say that it's one of the few things that I don't regret. Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before and hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. They stay in those old machine buildings and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what, hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. Sound of those, but I don't care. I'm not in anything. Not that he's being hidden. What are you talking about? I don't care. <laughs> For a really good liar, he just screwed that one. Hey, where the hell have you been all day? Nice to see you, too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off, and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deacon, thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no, what is your problem? I just said, I'm tired. That's it. Okay. I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? Another helicopter. 
It got bad fast. Yeah, that's a day I'm never Just getting the looting, back. Which started almost over. Oh, hey, look at that. Too late for marsh duty. Yeah, it's too bad. It's huh? Schizo. Going nuts. Schizo, schizo, speaking of schizo, I wonder what the hell he did all day. <laughs> hey, Ricky, you there? I'm, uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover for me. Schizo's gonna wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozer's, uh, hell, I don't know, he's, he's depressed or something, talk to Addy. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So, what are you gonna do? Oh, uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain, get his bike, bring it back. That's a long way to go on foot. I'll figure something out. Are, are you gonna cover for me, or what? Yeah. Thanks, Ricky. Deacon out. Place. Son of a bitch! Oh, you. Boozer, are you there? Yeah, dude. How you doing, brother? Same as always. You still out there chasing choppers? Yeah. Figure out what the hell they're up to yet? Not a clue. What O'Brien told me seems legit. Nero's out here, or they're running field missions, studying the freaks. No idea why. I gotta get going. The Schizo stopped by, so I'll be shoveling shit all day. Tell Schizo to eat shit. Yeah, pass that along. Later. And going the wrong way. This is Tucker. Stop by. I've got work for you. Tucky, hey. Okay. I'll see if I can make time peeking out. I wish you could, like, take out the machete and just, like, just, like, all right. Deke? Hey, we got a job for you. Yeah, this. Ricky, hey, um, okay. Yeah, I'll check in. Peeking out. Had nothing before, now I have a lot. Okay, it's magic. Cool. Magical door opener. Maybe I got a clicker or something? Get 
can in the trunk. Darn. Oh good, I can do this mission during the day. You know, whenever there's missions that have to be done at day or, or night, they don't care what time of day or time of night, most of the time. So if it was like, it wouldn't matter if like, oh, it wanted to be just barely dark. If it was dark, they'd be like, all yeah, right. Big old day. No, great. O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You got the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing like I told you. There are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. I need the air I got too close. I was going to call it. You know okay, what? I don't give a stuff. shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's, it's going to take time. I guess you have to be patient. Do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them after this op. I need you to place a tracker on their chopper. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, and you want me to spy on the guy I wear in the white space suit? Yeah, anything else? Yeah, try not to get your ass shot off. Your uh, con was still open. Subject exhibiting the morphology of stage two infection. Tendons in the hands and fingers are less constricted, fingernails less claw-like, as if recently chewed. Additionally, the subject is wearing jewelry and clothing less tattered and worn than. Hey, sorry, couldn't help overhearing. Ah, gun-toting biology major. Yeah, something like that. So, it's wearing jewelry. What's the significance of that? These things have been out here for two years. Scratching and clawing at us and each other. Yeah. Try putting a gold watch on a baboon for two years. Set it loose in the wild and see what happens to it. Okay, okay, I get your point. This watch looks new. Really? So, 
So, that means this subject has either been taking care of it, or has recently... Recently put it on? Shit, I thought they were all, you know... <laughs> that shit crazy? Yeah, you hear that? they are, but... Just as some late-stage dementia patients could still have moments of lucidity, victims of stage 2 virus infections seem to retain some level of vestigial memory. Oh shit. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Look at its clothes. They're <laughs> almost clean, right? I mean, not clean, but most freaks are so caked with shit and piss. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah, well, again, <laughs> put a pair of pants on a baboon for two years. Jesus. You ever wonder why there's so many more freaks in areas where people used to live? Never thought about it. I mean, yeah, I guess they do. Yeah, I think there might still be something very deep in their massively deformed heads that remembers what they once were. Jesus, you don't think they're aware? No, no, we've done the CT scans. They might as well be brain dead in human terms. What's that mean? Well, what it means is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of eating us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? <sighs> Hope you got all that, O'Brien. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. O'Brien, are you there? O'Brien! Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. The researcher, was it male or female? What? What? Why? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman and no, I didn't catch her name. Technically, it's a lieutenant, please. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, for this one, you have to leave your bike behind, so, because you got to drive Boozer's bike back. My suggestion, just drive your bike there. You're going to find out once I get back. Because the, the first time, first time I did it, I literally walked all the way. Finally, Jesus.
That should be it. I can't drive Boozer's bike? Or am I? Maybe it's just got doable. As I said, it's been a while, so I'm not. I don't remember 100% of all the things. Just remember the main parts. Brought you something. Wait, what yeah, the you fuck? You, back. you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Dick. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. That's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic shop. Oh, wait, what? You're welcome, Deke. Ricky out. And that's what I was telling you about. It happens whether you actually ride there or not. Because I just left my bike here. I literally walked the entire way. It took forever. Probably would have taken up half an episode. So You're all welcome. Ricky, what's up? The Butler twins, Abigail and Gabby. You this know them? Is... No, but uh, I seen them around. What's what's, what's going on? What's wrong? They went out fishing yesterday, and they didn't come back. Well, the lake shore is pretty safe so long as they stay out of the marsh. That's just it. They weren't at Lost Lake. They went east, over to the Metolius River. What the hell were they thinking? Okay, all right, yeah, I'll uh, I'll see if I can find them. Deacon, thank you so much. Good to see you, Deke. Hey, boss. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Hey. I can do it. an NPC, even if I do hit you, I ain't gonna do anything to you. Holy crap! Another breaker. I need the crap. Just checking in. A couple 
of my men were up at the top of the area mountain the other day. So they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir, that's what I'm told. They said it was a but funny thing. Whoever lived there was a body. Good shape, too, by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. That's not the funny thing. The funny thing is they went back up there today to pick it up. I was gone. Ain't that a head scratch? Look, Coke, this is all really fascinating, but... Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Run, you idiot, run! Yeah, I never I was out of stamina. I couldn't move. Need that. St. John, this is Mark Copeland at Deacon St. John. Hey, Cope, what's up? Just checking in. A couple of my men were up at the top of Leary Mountain the other day. So they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir, that's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind the bike. Good shape, too, by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. That's not the funny thing. The funny thing is they went back up there today to pick it up, but the bike was gone. Now, ain't that a head scratcher? Look, Copus is all really fascinating, but, uh... Now, hold on. Here's the fascinating part. They swear that old bike, well, it looked a lot like the one Boozer used to ride. Okay, so let me get this straight, Cope. You guys went up to O'Leary Mountain. We found what you thought was Boozer's bike. And the first thing you thought of was, hey, why don't we just go back and steal it? Salvage, Deke. Salvage. But no, that was my second thought. My first was, whatever happened to old loser? Manny says he hasn't seen him around for some time. I don't know, Cope. Next time I see him, I'll let him know how much you miss him. St. John out! Yeah, Addy, what's up? Can you stop by the infirmary and get a chance? Anything wrong? No, I just need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, okay.
Oh, nothing there. Well, everybody, it's getting about that time. Like, subscribe. See you guys later.